Crypto Grounds here. Welcome back to another C Sharp Crash Course video. This is episode four, and we're gonna do variables. All right, so we are at 1,005 subscribers. So if you're new here, make sure you like, uh, drop a like if you like the video, and subscribe and turn on the bell notifications. All right, so let's get on with the variable stuff. Also, one thing before I forget to mention, if you haven't seen my 1,000, like any of my 1,000 subscriber special videos, make sure you check it out. It'll pop up right here. Um, all right, so we have our variables right here set up already. We have uh, int, float, double, bool, char, string, short, long, byte, and decimal. So I'm gonna explain every single one of these. So first, we're gonna start with the size. All right, so int is a 32-bit. It's a 30, it's a 32 bit whole number. Um, we have floats double. I'm going to get to these ones first, but we're going to finish the whole numbers first. We have int short, long and byte. So basically byte is an eight bit version of an int. Long is a 16 bit version and short. No, 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 no. I flipped them. My apologies. Short is a 16 bit is 16 bit and long is a 64 bit of an integer. All right, so now we have our floating point numbers or variables. We have floats, double, and decibel. So basically double can store the most and has the, si the second most um, decimal like precision, decimals of precision. Floats has the least and decimal has the most, but decimal stores the least amount. So I'm gonna show you that in a second. I'm gonna show you that right now. So float is a 32-bit. Double is a 64-bit. While decimal is a 128-bit. All right, so we have two more to go. We have bool and char and string, so we have three. So bool is simply a one bit. Why? Because it's zero. It's either zero or one. It's just one bit. So zero, one, true, false. Zero being false, one being true. And char is an eight bit, which is basically just an ASCII character. So string, on the other hand, is a, is, it's a little special. String is actually a class. Now, all right, so I was editing the video and uh, I was talking about strings and I actually like wrote a bunch of stuff down and that was kind of incorrect. So I'm gonna have to like um, go back and work my way there. So basically strings are different. Um, well, they're just like any other variable, but it is an alias of the, sh of the capital string class. So this isn't a class, but it is an alias of the class like that. So but it's just like how int is the alias to system dot int 32. It's like how long is the alias to system int 30, uh, 64. String is the alias to I believe it's just string, like capital string, maybe system.string. I don't remember the top of my head. And string is a string of chars, basically. So we can't really say what, how, what the size of it is, right? So if we want to convert all of, so if we want to convert all of these to wrapper class, or not wrapper class, it's a r original class. This one is um, system dot float and also a lot of these are used for stuff like like uh int 32 convert to in 32 no no that does, no that doesn't count ignore that but like stuff like float dot pairs you've probably seen that before float dot pairs that's where you convert a string to a float it's the same thing that's the float class right there it's literally the same thing right and we also got system dot double. I think this is system dot boolean. I can't remember. Yeah, it is system dot boolean. We got system dot char. And these are easy to memorize by the capitalization. Some of them like boolean is different. 
And system and long, of course, are different. We have system.int16, system.int64 for long, that's for short, and byte is system.byte. This will, also, this video might be a little longer than the rest because there's a lot of information for variables. And also there's system.decimal. Uh, did I miss any? I don't think so. I think that's it. Um, so storage. Let's get on with that. Now, I can't exactly remember the exact ones except for a few so i know int is very small we have floats which uh it's around 3.4 e 38 double on the other hand is 1.78 e 308 and decimal is 7.9 e 28 so it's the smallest out of all of them um now you don't need to memorize these but if you're familiar with them if you want to know what your limits then it's kind of good to know all right so bytes now byte has a very small capacity so since it's an 8-bit the smallest we can go is 255 or that's the largest and it can go from 0 to 255 so it's got to be positive all right so these are the maxes by the way these are max max min we can do min after this all right, so integers, eh, it's a long number, but here we go. We'll write this out. Three, six, four, seven. That's the max. And the min for an integer is the negative version of this, but it's eight. So the, the minimum is two, negative two, one, four. No, it's... Two, one, four, seven, four, eight, three, six, four, eight. All right. So bool, we don't need that. Char, we don't need that. Short, short. All right. So the maximum for this one's actually quite small. Thirty-two thousand and seven hundred sixty-two. Seven hundred. No, 67, my apologies. And the min for this one is negative 32,768. All right, so that clearly it's smaller because it's 16-bit. Uh, Hopefully that kind of starts to make sense. All right, so long, longs are gonna be a little bigger. Now, I don't really feel like writing this all out, but basically what we can do it, we'll just write out the scientific notation, but it's 9018. I don't want to write out that whole number. And for negative, it's also, or the minimum, it's uh, negative 9E18. All right. Um, bytes, minimums are zero. Decimal has a minimum of negative 1E28. I think that is all I need to reveal. If um, we can do precision for these ones, for float, double, and decimal. So we'll do that real quick. Now, oh, I haven't done float and double yet. Okay, so the minimum for double is negative. Is negative 5E324. All right, now for float, it's negative 1.5E35. No, it's not E45. It's E45. All right, so take a look at those. Hopefully you understand that. Those are the mins. Those are the max. And that is the size of each one of those. Again, string is different, so just remember that. Okay? Now let's talk about float double and decimal real quick. Okay, so basically, floats have the smallest um, precision. So float is seven digits of precision. 
floats, all right? Now doubles, on the other hand, are 15 to 16 digits. Now, I don't know exactly why 15 to 16. I don't know why not just one or the other, but that's it. Same for decimals. 28 to 29 decimal, or digits of precision. So you can see there are some def there are some advantages between all of these. But the problem with decimal, it, it it's quite very high on storage, right? So again, you really only need to pay attention to these if you are really concerned about storage or RAM usage, right? So if you're just if you have like a thousands of levels or something like that, don't use long. You could use you could use short, in all honesty, if you don't believe you're going to get above this number. You could use short, but in general, you just use int. So just remember, be cautious of what you're using this for. If you need something that's very precise, use decimals or double. If you need something that's not so precise, use floats, but also not so big. If it's so big, then you got to use doubles. Um, all right, what else do I got to discuss I think that's it. I think that's all I got. If you guys have any questions below, let me down in the comments. Um, I have, I have like 20 more of these videos to go. So anyways, um, subscribe if you're... All right, so my, my phone just ran out of storage mid video. So sorry if there's like a weird cut or something. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this one. I have like 20 more videos uh, upcoming after this. So make sure you drop a like if you enjoyed. Um, comment below if you have any questions. And subscribe to my channel if you are new, and make sure you turn on the bell for future notifications. Anyway guys, thank you for watching. Peace.